Or espresso? Coffee. Vodka or gin martinis? Gin martini. God damn, how do I keep losing on them? Um, mountains or cities? Cities. Freshwaters or pools? Pools. Uh, ciders or champagnes? Ciders. Why do you ask questions? My cider. There you go. Nice save. <laughs> uh, ski or snowboard? Snowboard. You should have done ski or surf. Mm, don't do either. I just snowboard. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. I should have done. And just... I did that like four times, so right. I can't really say I do. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not an athlete. Uh, what's it called? Sure. Despite what I said earlier, I'm a college athlete. <laughs> Sweet tea or lemonade? Sweet tea. Beer or whiskey? Beer. Palisade peaches or Honeycrisp apples? Colorado Honeycrisp apples. Ooh, I didn't know that was a thing. I didn't know that nice. Breakfast or dinner? Dinner. Joint or bong? Joint. Tacos or burgers? Burgers. Red or green apples? Red, likely. West or East Coast wrap? East Coast. You did pretty well. Congratulations. Thank you. Except for that gin thing. Gin's awesome. And we built this whole rapport, and you just fucking threw it out the window, just like that. Yeah. Sorry, I'm man. I'm team gin martini. Hell yeah. yeah. Uh, so we have a couple of these that are peppered in here that we disagree with. So we Vodka's keep... just boring gin. Gin is just flavored vodka because people can't handle the real stuff. <laughs> okay. Fact. All right. Here we that go. Daniel's up, but we're going to obviously switch it up. You're not uh, a real thinker, so you're going to have to do this toughly. I know. I'm not. Tacos or burgers? Tacos. Breakfast or dinner? Dinner. Nice. Palisade peaches or honey crisp apples? Colorado apples. Cornbread or cinnamon rolls with your chili? Cornbread. Time out. With your Who the chili. fuck does cinnamon rolls with their chili? That's no, I was waiting to bring this in. God. It's a Nebraska thing. I fucking oh. know. I, I left there when I was six. Okay. <laughs> we, 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 we need to remember. Right. Ask them <laughs> green or red. Also, Ask green or red. you guys weren't making so much chili. Uh, no, I was. I my. I yeah, come from like a Soviet people, immigrant they? family. Uh, we didn't know what the Dude, hell. Trust I me. Those yeah. things were. Okay. Okay. So you're a vodka guy too. Yes. Oh, we haven't gotten to that question yet. Oh uh, yeah. Spoiler <laughs> alert. Yeah, my family didn't know what gin was. It's not, it's not a thing. <laughs> Only the Brits know what it is. Exactly. All right. Well, <laughs> this one probably won't even play either. But sweet tea or lemonade? Uh, sweet tea. Okay. Right. That's okay. Yeah. yeah. I feel I like, like it, either of those yeah. are an a proper answer. Yeah. I can I fuck with both of them. Sometimes it's both. Uh, the Arnie Palmer. Mm-hmm. Our Newtown Pippin tastes like Arnold Palmer, but alcoholic. It's amazing. All right. That's a great sell, and I'm going to buy a bottle for it. Coffee or espresso? <laughs> Coffee. Magners or Strongbow cider? Mm. I don't think there's a difference. Is there? They may be Sugar they, and I, so, so I don't know. They actually may be different brands from the same company. Um, oh, I didn't know that. You, no, I just know I drank a lot of strong. So, 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 so and you, I was like 250 pounds in. Yeah, oh, Fat Chris and, is and, awesome. And, and let me tell you why. Fat Chris? So, um, so, 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 so one of the one of the rules in England, um, in order to call yourself cider, it has to be made of at least 33 percent apples. Which means it can be made out of two thirds something else. I assure you that something else is not good for your health. It's uh, nearly always corn syrup or some other cheap sugar source. But literally, uh, those companies, if I'm not mistaken, can make their product out of one third ap- one third apples and. We always drink a lot of strong, but with a little bit of black currant syrup in it. It's good. This isn't I, about I you. Yeah. Anyways, okay. Mountains or city, Daniel. Mountains. Uh, East or West Coast wrap? East. Cider or champagne? Cider. Ski or snowboard? Ski. Did you do the mountains? I'm looking for fat Chris pictures. <laughs> That's me. Well, they, um, the people on the internet, don't worry, I'll post on Instagram. That is. hilarious. Okay, vodka or gin martini? A uh, vodka. And it's a tie ball game again. <laughs> I think that's about it. Sure. All right. Well, then everybody come look at these pictures of how fat Chris. You, you should you should not mix vodka with tonic though. If I if I want to speak up on behalf of Jim. Do you, do you <laughs> like your martinis dirty? Uh, yeah, but like vodka pairs much better with like every pickled vegetable than gin does because gin is sometimes citrusy where vodka can like handle onions and shit. Like for me at least because it's tasteless. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. water. Yeah, mm-hmm. and. Um, no, I'm not. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. You're, you're, you're not in a martini is what the question right. is, but, like, 
define the best gins are better than the best vodkas, but not in a martini. Touche. We're not going to have that conversation. Uh, so we do have one more question that we'd like to ask y'all. This one is the super last question. And it's stolen that petite. Thank you to our friends at Live Nation, Live Well, uh, the clinic. I don't know who else are we blowing this month. Everybody that Sphere X right next door. Sphere X next door. Uh, our friends at Hay Sprocket. Our friends at Slow Foods. Don't forget to come down here and try Haken, Haken Family Cider. We'll do that whole pitch in a minute. But this last question, it's called Guilty Pleasures. So let's say y'all worked a late night shift. You know, kids were put to bed by somebody else, but you're coming in late and you're, you're, you're famished. What's your go-to snack? Is it a bag of shredded cheese straight to the mouth? Are you making homemade quesadillas? What's your late night snack? Can I answer for him? You can oh. answer for him. That's cute. He would totally make the craziest omelet ever with, like, awesome mushrooms from the farmer's market and, like, cheese and random stuff in our fridge. Talia would have frozen carrots. Frozen? You wouldn't even thaw them? Like, dip them in and make it blue. I love carrots, but I'm not a, I don't, how, how does one eat frozen carrots? Is it, like, frozen? slowly, uh, methodically? Yeah, no, I, like it's a, it's a habit I picked up as a kid. My brother and I used to be into frozen vegetables. Frozen, my mom would put, like, a bowl of frozen vegetables on the table for us. And then when I was pregnant with our daughter, I was, like, massively craving frozen carrots, frozen. That's hilarious. Yeah, like, you just warm them up enough to, like, get the, like, like you can bite into them, but okay. they're still pretty frozen, and they're really refreshing. I feel like that's pre-crime. Like, for those that watch Minority Report of him, like, report her to Tom Cruise. <laughs> I don't mind, like, a raw carrot, like, on a salad. Sure. But if that thing's, like, cold and no. frigid in the middle, you No, no, she, she'll, she'll eat frozen green beans, too, like, like yeah. the whole thing, like, straight out of the freezer and loves it. In the husk, or whatever we would call that? The shell? Yeah, like the, like the like whole green, green bean. bean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I guess that, that, one's, was, not, that yeah. one's not as crazy. That one's not as crazy. I had to think about that one. That one's yeah. not maybe as crazy. Yeah, the I used to, thing like, as, like, a kid, I used to, like, pour a bowl of frozen green beans and go sit in my bed and read. No, I can oh, see it. Oh, man. I, I can see I it. Oh, it. Yeah, it's like, it's like, could you imagine, like, going over to your parents, like, oh, how was the sleepover at Italia's house? Uh, she eats frozen vegetables. Okay, I didn't do it in front of other people. Okay. <laughs> Good knowing. No she told listening. me about it. I only shared it with you, and... Your discreet no audience. No <laughs> one's listening. So you're, yeah. you're in a safe place. It, it, it definitely came We're back with a vengeance, and a pregnancy craving. Like I didn't do it very much, and then all of a sudden, when I was pregnant, I was like, all I can eat is frozen carrots. Did you crave cider when you were pregnant? Oh um, no, that's the thing she craved the least. Yeah. In fact, I was starting to wonder. I was like, baby, do you still like my product? And as soon as I had um, a baby. Yes. She's like, give me booze. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. I was she like, could you bring a bottle to the hospital? I thought, like, <laughs> yeah, she likes cider so much yeah. more after the fact. And it's very kind of thankful hard to like that. cider when all you want to do is throw up. So, yeah. That's interesting. Well, I, 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 I don't know that feeling yeah. as well as others, but I mean, I, I do vomit with the best of them. Yeah. So don't you worry. I've ruined yeah. many a suit and dress. <laughs> Not mine, others. Uh, I, don't, uh, I don't wear clothes. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so, we, you guys, we really do appreciate y'all coming to goof off with us, or having us to come goof off with y'all today. Um, not only did I learn a lot about cider as someone that's got a mental block on learning, I did learn a lot, and I learned that I'm actually a fan of it. So for awesome. those that relate to me that are listening, the Red Wine fam, the coalition that we've kind of built in the, the SOM game, I can attest that you will enjoy the ciders that they're making out here at Haken Family. And uh, before I let Chris say another word and ruin this great conversation we had, I'd love it if y'all would mind, would y'all tell our friends around Denver and Aurora and all the other burbs where they can find them if they, if they can't make it out to the tasting room and want to try this delicious cider? Sure. We've got a lot of different places between fine dining and bottle shops that you can find us. Um, they're all listed on our website. We've got Pearl Wine on South Pearl, Joy Wine and Spirits. Um, in Boulder, we have Cured Wine Shop um, and a lot of different places. Boulder Wine Boulder Merchant. Wine Merchant. Um, you can find them all on our website. If we're not in your local place where you like to buy booze, let them know, and we are happy to meet with anyone. And, 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 and that's an important thing. So Tali and I, we're really busy. We have other jobs. We decided early on we're not going to cold call, and we don't market ourselves hard or really at all. We'll take meetings when people ask for it. 
but ultimately this is a word of mouth business. So thank you guys also for coming here and no, but spreading that word of mouth because right now we're not going to try to call people and make it happen. We're looking for who wants to showcase what we're doing. And so we're spreading the word um, just like you guys learned that we existed through Slow Foods. Slow Foods heard about us through one of our apple growers that they work with. And um, this is a very long chain, and uh, it helps build up our business. So thank you so much for what you guys do as well. Um, a lot. You say that very loosely. Wait till you hear the editing, and it makes me sound great. You're like, that <laughs> asshole. <laughs> but that's, that, that's awesome. That's what we love, too, is we're kind of grassroots, and, I mean, we like showcasing people like you guys. And I mean, keep following the dream. This is yeah. awesome. I'm and proud of you. y'all for grinding. I'm thank gr- you. And now that you say that y'all bonded over gardening, makes a lot more sense that you ate fries and vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, veggies are your jam. Yeah, mm. yeah. I really like veggies. If you like, you ask me what my last meal would be. It's going to be some sort of vegetable and meat Frozen situation. Peas. Frozen peas is yeah. the best class of cider. You're some cider. <laughs> Don't let Chris talk shit. This motherfucker doesn't eat meat four days a week unless I buy it and put it in the fridge. And he's like, oh, maybe I'll try it this You time. guys <laughs> live together also. That's how he became my co-host. He was, like, he was like, do you need a co-host? I was like, fuck it. You know a fair amount about food. <laughs> and then next, he, he's a good cook too, but most of it's rabbit food like y'all can grab. <laughs> so, you know, if y'all are ever in our area, come eat some Popeyes with me. We'd love mm-hmm. to, you know, take y'all out. I owe y'all about 78 drinks because these are delicious. <laughs> but, but honestly, to our listeners, if they can convince Kip to like cider, anybody's going to like cider. I mean, and and this stuff is really good. And, I mean, you dropped all the sorts of knowledge on us. So, yeah, come out here and try some cider. Yeah, I, w- I couldn't vouch for enough. Again, 33rd in Peoria. And and, and, and one last thing. Do it. Remember, there, there, there are two different family businesses that make a cider. It's us, the cider maker, but it's also the farmer. And importantly, we're sourcing our fruit from small family farms. And when people buy our product, they're also supporting that farmer in a way um, that most consumers do not. Um, They don't care where their fruit comes from. And buying our cider, uh, we source from one farm outside of Colorado, in Washington. It's owned by gentlemen in Colorado Springs. It's also a family farm. Um, buying real honest-to-goodness local products usually involves a farmer as well, and every single product we sell does. So I love it. I love it. And then thank you all again for the tips. I think we're going to probably hit one of them for supper. We do love our friends over at Stanley, but mm-hmm. when we get a tip that's right down the road for the best fucking burritos in town, <laughs> we kind of got to, I mean, you've you you got to do it. You do it on the wedding week I recommend the drive through It's excellent. Yeah. Oh, does it drive through? Uh, yeah. You, you, you don't go there for the. You don't ambience. go like. Yeah, I, I, I assure you. You get it's the burritos as good, and eat them in your good car. In your car as it is, <laughs> perhaps better, uh, depending yes. what you're doing in your car. Meat. They have meat for the the burritos. Yeah. Uh, you want carne asada. The only Maybe thing together you want carne asada. I'm sure there's something else good there, but really that's the only thing I've ever had. We're having it for supper, and so they'll yes. see pics of that as well. Um, for those that maybe if want to follow y'all on Instagram and see what's up to date with the tasting room and new flavors coming out, how can folks find y'all? Haken Family Cider on Instagram and Facebook. Haken Cider on Twitter. Um, just search for us, and you'll see us. Sounds good. Sounds good. Well, guys, Daniel, Talia, we really do appreciate y'all joining us today. Chris, I appreciate you not ruining this episode. Um, For those at home, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and review. Tell us what your favorite part about me, your least favorite part about Chris, in the the reviews. Please. And actually, you know what? On our Instagram page, tell us what your favorite cider is from Haken Family Cider, and we'll give you a $25 gift card. So for whomever's listening, we'll give you $25 to Haken Family Cider. You just got to tell us what your favorite flavor is. And uh, we'll give you one week to do that. Until next week, we say cheers. Safe cider. Safe safe cider? You're not driving home, motherfucker. That was terrible. Yeah. <laughs> we'll edit that out. Stay hungry, stay thirsty. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>